but what I also loved about Brother Michael Brooks was that he had what Kafka, he had what Chekhov, he had what Beckett had. He had a deep sense of the comic. He had a deep sense of incongruity. And of course, Brother Zizek has that. <laughs> it's hard for him to philosophize and not give some kind of allusion to a film or a philosophical text that shows the incongruities that gets us to smile and grin in order to fortify ourselves intellectually, morally, and like Brother Michael Brooks, given his Buddhist sensibility, his spirit, his soul. So that he be we began to always acknowledge the way in which the economic, the predatory capitalist is hand in hand with the existential, that the spiritual goes hand in hand with the social. And of course our feminist sisters and womanist sisters have taught us the personal goes hand in hand with the political, but in the end is not gonna be a matter of identity. In the end, it's gonna be a matter of intellectual integrity and solidarity in which class struggle has to be a fundamental lens through which we view the world as we come to terms with our various identities. And if all we talk about is identity, then that's gonna get mobilized into a class politics 